Hey guys, it's your girl Peter Gay here, also known as the Cleaning Mommy. And you guys, I'm telling you, I am super excited. This was one of the most anticipated area in my house for me to clean and decorate. When I tell you I was so excited to finally start decorating my stairs, I could not wait. So this little floral set I got from Hobby Lobby. I have this Merry Christmas Hobby Lobby sign for about two years now y'all when I tell you I've always wanted to live in a house with a stairs so I could decorate it because I've always loved watching videos and see how they decorate their stairs and I've been waiting to do it all my life I feel like and finally here I am decorating my stairs for Christmas in this new house that we live in it's my first time decorating and I'm super excited so a couple days after I put this Merry Christmas sign it did fall down even though I had the, what do you call it? That thing that you put on there and you let it stay for a couple days or a couple minutes or whatever. You let it stay and you let it sit. Well, it did not work for me. I let it sit for a couple days. Then I decorated and it still fell. So I had to use nails to hold it up because it is a heavy sign. It is made of metal. I absolutely love it. At the end of this video, you guys will see a walkthrough of the stairs and how I decorated. But let me know if you think I should add something else on that wall, like below the Merry Christmas sign. Because I feel like I need to add something else. So, I don't have a lot of fancy garland. I have the cheap garland from walmart that 50 feet garland that you pay what nine dollars for i've had these garland for years so i decided i'm just gonna use it and put it over this archway and you know let it all tie in with the decor for the upstairs leading down my stairway so i am not decorating upstairs in the kids playroom because y'all i don't run out of the core all of the core i have left is for like my kitchen and my bedroom you know i don't have nothing else so i'm just showing you an overview of everything that i have that i'm going to be using to decorate I did get some new garland from Walmart. I believe that was like either $14 or $18. And these were actually pre-lit that I'm going to be using on the stairs. They were um, white lights. I wish they were like black lights because I'm using the color um, scheme of black and red. I feel like the black lights <laughs> would have probably look a lot better. But I do like the white lights and i did wrap some red lights around it to bring in the red so these um trees that you saw me putting on the stairs i got them from hobby lobby as well you guys don't know hobby lobby have christmas decor seasonal decor all year round and it's 50 percent off so y'all go get yours go get yours now <laughs> when i tell you i've been shopping for christmas decor since august because things go so fast there is something that I bought sometime in September and I went back in October because I wanted one more and they were completely sold out. I could not find it. So when it comes to Christmas decor, people are like, oh, why do stores put their decor out so early and why people can't wait? That's because uh, things go so fast as soon as they bring them out. So I've had these lanterns from Dollar Tree for a couple years now. I've been using them all over the previous house. And this year I decided to use them on a stir. So I put the trees, I put the lanterns, and I couldn't decide if I needed to put anything else. But since I've decorated, I realized, you know what, girl, don't put nothing else. Because even though these trees are way over in the corner, somehow every time somebody walk past them, they always knocking them over. So I'm like, you know what? Less is best. It still looks really beautiful. So I did some clusters um, for my ornaments that I will be putting on the stairs. And I got this idea from Pinterest. I even did a reel. <laughs> I did a reel like a month before I even recorded this. And I didn't post the reel because I wanted to, you know, add the ending look of the staircase to the reel. So I'm still working on that, guys. I'm <laughs> still working on that. But by the time you guys see this video, the reel should be ready and be able to post the same day.
so i don't know where i got this wreath from i've had it for a couple years can't remember where i bought it from and i decided to just add it on the staircase right here where when you enter the door you open the door and you enter the house this is the first thing you will see upstairs and i'm gonna put you know a nice black and red buffalo plaid ribbon on it that i got from dollar tree either dollar tree or hobby lobby um this year i bought a ribbon from hobby lobby so i don't remember which one but i have two and um they're different they look different no i have three they look different so i think two i got from dollar tree and one from hobby lobby but y'all yeah, when i tell you i was so in love with the end results when it comes to decorating i always say go all out go over the board go overboard <laughs> just do what you love do what you enjoy don't follow no trends do what makes you happy when it comes to decorating i don't follow trends when it comes to decorating my house is always gonna look like christmas threw up in there because this is such an amazing time of year for me this is my favorite time of year i love to decorate I love the feeling that, you know, Christmas gives the cozy vibes. I love all of that. So I tend to go all out when it comes to decor. This year, I bought so much Christmas decor, guys. When I tell you I spent a lot on Christmas decor, I spent a lot. And I'm so thankful that I've been doing DoorDash. So whatever money I get from DoorDash, that's how I buy my Christmas decor. My husband will help me here and there, but for the most part, I make sure, you know, I work for this and, you know, do what I need to do. Y'all, I was exhausted. I bought some wires to use to hold everything up on the staircase. Now, when I got it, it seemed like a really good idea, but once I start decorating, I realized not so good because if you don't twist them all the way, which is really hard they can scratch you and with the kids going up and down the stairs and they holding onto the staircase I figured that would not be a good idea so what I ended up doing is I took a break from decorating changed my clothes went to Walmart came back home and got some glitter sticks um, I don't remember what you call them but this is not the one I wanted the one I actually ordered from Walmart they did not have in stock but when Walmart canceled my order for the ones that I did get I forgot what you call them when they canceled the order I just went inside instead because I did order other stuff so I picked up my order put them in the car went inside and got these glitter sticks and they are definitely way better than the wires that I was using to hold everything up I did not have any more ornaments so I used all the clusters that I could I did wanted to get some more so I could add on the tree and I felt like I should have put a cluster of ornaments right by the end of the staircase right where I'm gonna put these bells so these bells I did not buy this year I actually bought them last year from Walmart when it was the day after Christmas you know after Christmas they be having sales so I went to Walmart and got some y'all don't come for me I spanked his hand because I told him not to touch and he is my little lover boy but he can be a bit hard-headed so he wanted to give me kisses afterwards which is weird because usually you know when you tap your kids they're not the one that want to give you hugs and kisses you're the mom and you always end up feeling guilty but I digress so I got this ribbon and I wanted to put it on there as well I am going to show you guys the end of how the staircase look it came out so beautiful I love how it looked so last year I got all these new um stockings and I decided okay I'm gonna put the stockings on the stairs like I said I got a lot of inspiration from Pinterest so this is how the final look of my entryway y'all and I'm excited for y'all to see how it looks
Thank you.